so Houdini is already sick with what could be deliberate poisoning and the onset of appendicitis. I want to take a closer look at the next key date on Houdini's stage tour, October 11th, 1926. It's just 20 days before he dies. Houdini is in Albany, New York, where he has the next in a series of bizarre misfortunes. This time, a disaster involving his most notorious invention. Ah, Dave, Hello there again. you are. What is this? This is a water torture cell. This was invented by Houdini as a really nasty escape. This was a sealed unit. There was no false bottom. It had water in it, maybe up to here. Houdini would be shackled by his ankles into the lid, locked securely. He would then be hoisted high, upside down. So he's chained, he's lowered into this tank full of water, and then he has to escape. Absolutely. Curtain draws across, and so the struggle begins. So he would ask the audience to hold their breath, see how long they could do it. You'd hear gasps from the audience after 30 seconds a minute. Wow. Two, three minutes. The audience would be whipped into a frenzy. They'd be demanding that the two stagehands with big axes go and break in, release him. Houdini's going to drown. For years and years and years, people thought that's how he died, in the water torture cell. But that is a complete myth invented by the movie Houdini in 1953 with Tony Curtis. The incomparable Houdini, who amazed the world with his fantastic exploits. The director famously created a better death for him. In that movie, he dies in the water torture cell. The water cell may not have killed him, but like most of his tricks, it was incredibly dangerous. He actually was doing things that were very much on the cutting edge. There was real risk, but he mitigated almost all of that risk by being smart and planning ahead and being very exacting in how he did his illusions. Houdini's most favorite phrase, my brain is the key that sets me free. No fear when everything looks like you're not going to be able to get out, you're not going to be able to escape life's challenges, relax, calm down, and let your brain figure your way out. So here we have the lid. How did he do it? This is my take on it. OK. As he was lowered in and the lid was put on top, his two assistants made the secret move. All right, If you look ready. at the hinge there, there's a pin. Oh, yeah. And you can just ease it out. Oh, pull it out. look at that. The curtain would then drop. OK. Houdini could push with his feet. Oh, wow. It lifts. He could climb out, close the lid behind him. Impressive, really impressive. I mean, him holding his breath wasn't a trick, though. No, not at all. And having the agility and suppleness to be able to turn around in that small, confined space takes some doing as well. Yeah. And then have the strength remaining to pull yourself out. Absolutely. It is incredible. Houdini, after figuring out that he could fail at some of these tricks and that could cost him his life, usually built in fail safes. So he would always have like kind of a way out. So he usually had a backup plan if he couldn't escape from something. The water torture cell, that could cost him his life. There are a lot of ways things could go wrong, even if you do have a fail safe. 